Hey guys, and welcome to this very first podcast with, with James and I. Hi. Hi. So, welcome to this channel. Yes, hi, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome to this very first podcast. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't know, James is my husband. I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel in the description down below, also known as the Doobly Doo, so you guys can go and check him out. Yes, I appreciate that. Thank you. Joining us today is our wonderful puppy, Chattis. So, you know, she in may case... chime in from time to time. Exactly. <laughs> like right now. She's like, what? What about me? Anyways, welcome, welcome. Hi. So, so what's our topic today? Our topic today, I thought we were going to be talking about being a house owner, <laughs> like owning a house. I thought that was going to be water... like our very oh, first. Oh, I forgot to water the lawn. Can we pause this? <laughs> No, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> Can't stop the train. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be talking about being homeowners. Yes. On this the episode. The wonders of being homeowners. Because, yeah, we we just bought our first house. We moved in less than a month ago. Yeah. And uh, and we are still settling in. Mm -hmm. um, almost everything's unpacked. Almost. <laughs> we have several rooms with nothing in it because we don't have enough furniture. Several rooms. Like what? Well, Do we have a mansion or something? Yes, sort? <laughs> yes. Um, we actually have a mansion. A mansion, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh huh, okay. No, it's a. Uh, it, we just moved, we upgraded from a 900 square foot apartment, and even that we had a lot of space in. Because we don't have a lot of furniture, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Like, I, we only have the bed, one couch, mm -hmm. two desks, <laughs> two desks, and that was, oh, and a dresser. Dressers. Dressers. Yeah. But we didn't have like a fridge or an oven mm -hmm. or washer and dryer. We like, yeah. So there's still like the living room doesn't have. I call it like, my gym. It's a gym because there's like no furniture <laughs> yep. in it. But yep. eventually, you know, once we get a chance, we'll eventually get the, the furniture that mm -hmm. we need once we actually get money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, just, just the thing about money. Purchasing a house is expensive. It is. So eventually... We'll finish decorating the house and furnishing it. But anyways. Yeah, yeah um, so what, what are your thoughts on owning a house? What, what's your favorite part of living in something you own instead of renting? I can be loud. Yep. I can be loud because I record from home. I mean, YouTube mm -hmm. is my full-time job. So sometimes I had to be like very mindful of how loud I was when I was recording because I didn't want to spook the neighbors, you know. I didn't want them to think that I was actually dying because mm -hmm. of a Minecraft game where, you know, zombies or creepers explode right next to me. And I'm saying, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I didn't want them to actually think that I was <laughs> going to die, you know. I had to be very mindful of how loud I was. But also not having to stress about other people's noise. Right. That was so stressful because my microphone can pick up anything. So, you know, it's when very strong. It is super strong. <laughs> World champion weightlifter. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I would have to uh, like stop a recording in case when my neighbors would start playing music because, you know, copyright. <laughs> I can't have music on my video. So I had to stop a recording and that just kind of would throw me off for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Um, or, you know, people uh, outside in the parking lot being loud as well. You know, it's just that it's different things that you have to consider. So yeah. I am loving just being me, like being super loud when I'm recording, but also not having to worry about the loudness of other people right. that are not me. But as far as uh, for me, some of the things that I love about homeowning, um, I, I love the drive home from work. Mm -hmm. I love driving. It's just... I lived three minutes from work previously, yeah. So it was very, very close. I hated the drive. <laughs> it you was hated it was the an drive? awful three minutes. Now it's it's what maybe twenty minutes of traffic. Yeah. But even then, it's just it's just a nicer drive. The people I run into are n like not jerks. I'm not on uh, thirty five, which is one of the main freeways in Austin, and so it's just I get to bypass a lot of the stuff that I disliked about my original trip to work. So that's really nice. Um, some of the other things, yeah, it's nice to have the space. It's nice to have something that when I go and do yard work or I'm uh, I'm putting up pictures or something, I'm not worried about, oh, will this blow my deposit or will I get to, like, I'll get to enjoy something. I'm, we put up some of our posters, our pictures, our things like that. It's feeling like our home. Yeah. And, oh, I damaged something. Well, that's my house. <laughs> yeah. I got to fix it. <laughs> so, okay. So, so here's the thing about us. We're like super creative people. Um, <laughs> I mean, we both went to school for film and TV and, and all of that stuff. So we have like 
that thing's like good. We're good on that. However, like doing things around the house, like like handiwork. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can, but I'm very handy. We we might you know miss like <laughs> a thing or two. Like we're not very good at it. Like that's what I'm trying to get. So we've been hanging some pictures and posters because you know we have obviously we have mm-hmm. to have posters around our house. Yeah. Um. But sometimes we kind of miss the spot where we're supposed to hang it. So now we have like extra holes around the house that we just have to like cover with other frames. It's, it's just more ventilation. More ventilation. So like. That's pretty that's pretty funny to me. Yeah. Like the oh well, that's yeah. not where that's supposed to go. Like we mm-hmm. miss by an inch or whatever. And it's yeah. like, well, got to cover it up. So <laughs> Well, one thing I've noticed about a lot of the uh, apartments we stayed in is you you tap on a wall, you can find studs every what seems like every 10 to 12 inches. Yeah. Here it seems like there's there's a little more space between them, so we're quickly like trying to find. Oh well, this there's a there's a stud here. We can mount this on the wall, this on the wall, this on the wall. So explain to those who don't know what a stud is. So, what okay. is a stud? So a stud is basically an additional um, two by four in the wall used to help build and support uh, the rigidity of the wall, and um, then you have like drywall over it, so it hides the the wood underneath. So it's basically a, a big piece of wood yes. that's in the wall. Yes. So uh, here in the United States, for um, those who don't know, here in the United States, a lot of the houses are built with... Um, wood and with composite wood materials, and, yeah. Exactly. And in other parts in the world, like in Mexico, for example, we use cement and bricks. So the the walls in Mexico are, yes, they're a lot thicker. Um, so, you know, you can just punch... Mm-hmm. Well, are you okay, Chetis? <laughs> I think she's gassy. <laughs> she's gassy. <laughs> I'm like, what was that? Anyways, in Mexico, the walls are thicker. And here in the United States, you have uh, drywall. So in between the drywall, you usually have some sort of um, frame, wood frame, or you also have the insulation foam, uh, which, mm-hmm. you know, helps the house stay cool during the summer or hot during the winter. Yep. So that's great and all. But when you're trying to put things on the wall, like frames, um, there, it's kind of hard sometimes because you can't really find a good spot yeah. for it because you need to, like, if it's a heavy thing, like a heavy poster or a heavy whatever, you need to find a, a, a wooden beam. Yep, to screw it into to, so that way it stays yeah. on the wall because drywall is very thin. So it can fall. Yeah, it can rip the screws out of the wall. Yeah, which also happens. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's the thing. Well, if you guys didn't know, I like, I, I collect different things you know i like i like mugs that's like my one thing that i collect every time i visit a city even if it's just the airport i like to collect a mug so i have a bunch of mugs from different cities or even if it's just not a city if it's a mug that i see like oh i went to a disney store or i went to a dc comic store i find Mm -hmm. the mug that i like i'm gonna purchase it so i have a bunch of mugs that's one of the things that i collect i also collect plushies as you guys have previously seen my office, you know, pictures of my office, but I also collect purses. I'm not very girly girl. Like I don't do my hair and I don't do a lot of makeup and I don't wear a lot of dresses, you know, I'm not very girly girl. But the one thing I have is purses. That's like my my one thing. I don't collect shoes or belts. No, no, no. Purses. So I have a bunch of purses that I brought from, from Mexico when I moved to the United States. And what I wanted to do in this house was to, you know, have a big walk-in closet, which thankfully we got one. But I wanted to have a wall where I could display my purses. Because, you know, I wanted to be fancy that way. I've never been able to do that before. And I, of course, I see TV shows and movies and I'm like, oh, I want that. I want that. So I finally like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So we went to Ikea and we purchased a little uh, thing to hang the towels. But I'm like, I'm not going to use it for towels. I'm going to use this for my purses because I have a bunch of purses you know so we put it in but we well we're trying to put it in but we can't find a stud Mm -hmm. so I I mean I was right there but uh. (laughs) I love you so much (laughs) keep telling your story sorry (laughs) for those who don't know stud is another way of saying the hot guy so that's why James was saying well I was right there because he's calling himself a stud anyways we're trying to place this thing on the wall but we can't find studs so we just say like, hey, you know what? It's going to be fine. We're just going to put the holes in the drywall. It'll be fine. <laughs> Little d- did you know, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I start placing my bags, right? And they're all really nice and pretty. You know, they're in 
in the perfect place. So I leave the room, the closet, to grab my my daily purse because I have one purse that I can just grab and take out that has all the, the stuff, like the keys, the wallet, everything. So I grab that one. I put it in and I'm like, yeah, perfect. It looks amazing. I finally have my wall of display for my purses. Awesome. I leave. Not even five minutes pass. And then I heard a junk. I'm like, what, what was that? What was that? So I go back in and I see all of my purses on the floor <laughs> connected to the thing that we bought from Ikea. The rack. The rack, thank you. And there's a bunch of dust on the floor because it brought the nails and part of the wall with it. <laughs> How devastating was that? Like, I'm like, oh, a yeah. closet in our brand new house. Just <laughs> for the record, I'm glad she was the first person to <laughs> do some damage to our house because if it had been me, I would have been in trouble. But well, she, she broke the seal. <laughs> I broke the seal of the house. So uh, with that wall, just... I did look for studs. I tried to put it in something, and she she wanted to put it there. And I was like, okay, well, she's not hanging that much from it, so it should be fine here. Uh, I don't think I realized you were going to hang all of your purses on it. All of my it. purses. He didn't so, know. So I was like, well, if it's just hanging like five, maybe ten pounds, it should be fine. Nope. Because I put enough nail, I put enough uh, screws into it. Yeah. And it was, it was relatively secure. I'm like, yeah, as long as it's not overloaded, it should be fine. Yeah. And then I see the giant mass... <laughs> of like 80 pounds of purses. <laughs> yeah, because I think you were at work when this happened. Uh -huh. So he didn't realize how many bags were on the rack until yeah. it was too late. Because he told me, well, if I would have known that you were going to yeah. put this many, <laughs> wouldn't I wouldn't there. have let you. <laughs> there were no studs in this small part of the closet. So I, for those of you who are listening, you're like, James, just, just tap it and find us. There were no studs. Get off my back. <laughs> there I, were no I studs. Checked. There were none. So, yeah, that, that happened. Um, it was very heartbreaking, discouraging. But, you know, we made it work. So this the second time, you know, obviously we have to patch it up. And now mm. we have, like, two holes in our wall. Like, okay, patch it up and put the rack on top of the holes so it hides the holes, right? <laughs> I mean, it still has to look nice. It still has to look nice. Boy, it still has to look nice. So we put the rack on top of it. It looks better. And <laughs> this time, I'm like, okay, for real. Don't let me put my daily bag in it because if I do, it's just gonna bring. I think it was the Did you weight. Say daily or Diggly? I hope I said daily. Okay. Chatis? Yeah, Chatis is taking a bath on Mariel's lap right now. She's like cleaning her feet because she's on my lap. She's cleaning her feet, but she's missing her feet and she's licking my leg. So my pants are all wet now. Thank you for that. <laughs> Chatty's why I love you, but why, girl? You're blind, girl. <laughs> um. Anyways, what was I saying? My daily bag. Your daily bag, yeah. Daily bag, <laughs> dum dum. So um, I'm like, don't let me ever do that again. So this time, I just went and and put like I think ten bags mm -hmm. or something like that, and the other ones I just left them in a box. Yeah. I'm like, I don't use them that often. So if I ever want them, I know where they are. Like, it'll be fine. So, yeah, sadly, I will not be able to display my collection of bags as I wanted. So my dream shattered, literally. Because <laughs> I shattered the wall. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Right out of the wall. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> but, hey, you know, I, dis I can display a little bit of mm -hmm. them, and that's okay. That's still okay. But, yeah, right. the house is starting to look pretty good. Um, I'm excited about it. Yep. There's still a lot of work to do. Like when you purchase a house, you don't really realize <laughs> how much things you need to take care of. Because right. when you live in an apartment, a lot of it's taken care of for you. Yeah, it's like, oh, you know, the light went out. Like, can you guys help me with like a lawn care? Well, that that's well, not I'm... fixing the light. Sorry, yes. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about, boy? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep. Drink your coffee. I'm out. <laughs> you, you need to wake up. <laughs> I think I had too much. I'm a little over caffeinated at the moment. Yeah, no, I'm kind of buzzing. Coffee. Anyways, yeah, like if you call the management, like, hey, mm -hmm. can you fix the light bulb? Can you fix the AC? Can you fix the oven? Like, oh, the toilet is not working. Not when it's clogged. I mean, if it's clogged, mm -hmm. you have to do that on your own, you know? Um, but <laughs> if it's like, hey, it's not like the water's not working. Like, what's up? They have to fix it. So all of these things, they have to fix it for you because it's part of a lease. 
um, they have to make sure that it, that it's in working conditions because right. if not, you know, they can't rent it out in the future or you can sue them or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool to live in an apartment. For that um, reason. For that reason, because they take care of everything. You don't have to worry about uh, mowing the lawn right. or, you know, uh, other things like that. So. Yeah. Take, you take your garbage, you put it in the community garbage, and then it disappears. Yeah. Unlike here, it's I put it in the garbage, it smells, and then I have to take it out and put it on the street. Yeah. And it gets taken away at that point. But plus, things are a lot more expensive when you own a house. Yes. Um, we've already seen, like, we haven't even paid our bills yet, but just seeing the cost of what it's going to be for um, sewage, for uh, garbage, for paying the city for uh, water, things like that, that we really didn't have that much of an expense for with an apartment. Yeah. We've already seen like, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be quite a bit more expensive and like that, that's okay. We're just going to have to <laughs> be careful. <laughs> yeah. Like if you're not, <laughs> if you're not in that room, turn off the yep. light. If yep. you're not using the water, shut down the faucet. Is mm -hmm. that how you say it? Close turn the, off the faucet. faucet. Turn Close off the faucet. Yeah. yeah. Close the faucet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's like you have to be very careful. And not that we weren't careful with water or electricity mm -hmm. electricity back then, but now we're extra careful. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's it's funny at times because um, it's like, baby, you just left, you left the, the light in the closet. Or last night, was it? Was it last night that I turned off the light in the bathroom when you were taking a shower? Yeah. Because yeah. just my head is like, as soon as I leave the bathroom, turn off the light. But I forgot that James was taking a shower. It's not like next it was the... a running shower making noise or anything. I we just... had just been talking. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> We'd just been talking and you're like, yeah, okay. La, 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 no, yeah, it's just... Lights off. And I'm, it's like my, my head just not, like it doesn't, it, yeah, it's just like as soon as I leave a room, I have to turn off the light. So mm -hmm. that's how much drastic it turned became to me. I don't know mm -hmm. how to explain it. Anyways, yeah. It's it's a lot it's a little bit stressful. Well, a lot more stressful. Also because like the the house that we purchased the back we have a really nice backyard. And by nice I mean it's big, you it's know. It's got space. It's, it's got space. Nice. It's not nice looking. <laughs> oh no, it has weeds. Weeds are growing like like there's no tomorrow. Like the uh, this is the weeds apocalypse. I don't like it, it's it's awful. Like I pull because all this week this past week, I have been every time I, I take a, I take Chatis out to you know do her pees and poops, um, I gra I try to grab the weed as many weeds as I can you know to take them outside. Here's the thing about weeds if for you guys who don't know, it's a type of plant that it it starts re really small but if you don't take it out immediately it will start growing exponentially like it, it's just it gets super huge and we, then it, we've been here less than a month we had no weeds when we moved in yeah some of the they weeds were super are small four to four and a half feet tall yeah already so three weeks three weeks and they're super tall and big so then mm -hmm. By the time you start working on them, if you don't take them out right away, the roots are so heavy and so deep within the soil that it's really hard for you to rip them out. And that's, it's just, it's awful. It is so awful. Like I got a blister <laughs> trying to pull one out. Um, but yeah, so. By the way, we had gardening gloves. But James forgot to mention that. So she I was used. with me when I bought them. <laughs> I used my sweet girly girly hands because i don't really work out or stuff so my hands are like super like really soft like i put a I really i take good care of my hands okay like i wash them every time i grab something that's dirty i put lotion after i wash my hands like i'm super super meticulous in taking care of my hands james on the other hand he goes climbing and he goes to the gym and you know he has like this manly man rough hands right so <laughs> So I took my little precious soft girly hands to the yard to work on it. So I got blisters. And then James, I'm, I'm like, hey, James, my hand hurt. I got a, I, I, I got a blister. And he's like, well, we have gloves. Why didn't you use the gloves for the, for the yard? And I'm like, well, I didn't know that we had them. I didn't know where they were. So now, whenever I go this next week, I will surely take the gloves with me. So that mistake doesn't happen again. Um, but yeah. We should have brought, should have bought two gloves. One for my size hands and your size hands. Yeah, because now they're going to be huge. They're I'm guessing huge. they're for your hands. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how good they're going to work, but we'll, we'll know. We'll tell you in the next podcast if I remember. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I've been working on that and they're growing way too fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't get rid of them. Like as soon as I, I get rid of, let's say 10. 
10 more sprout. Yeah. Like, it is ridiculous. It, it, it's almost, uh, unless we take a day and just go after them with a shovel, dig up the roots and everything, it may just be, we're, we're going to have to poison them and just, Chatty's going to have to go to the bathroom out in the front yard yeah. for a week, and then I can rip up the rest and then put sod mm-hmm. down. Because right now it's just dirt and weeds. Yeah. We, we don't have sod. We don't have grass. It's, it's on our list of to-dos, but it's not a high priority yet. And it's also one of those soils that we have two different soils, by the way. Like, what? Like, our yard, our backyard has two different ty- types of, of soil. The normal dirt, you know, dirt. But then we have another one that one of the uh, people that worked in the house, uh, because he came by and offered, you know, to help us with put more cement patio on our yard. So he was mentioning that that type of soil is called chocolate in Spanish, chocolate. I'm assuming because when you mix it with water, it kind of has that, con- the con- like the, I don't know, it kind of looks like chocolate. Okay. So it's it's very weird. So anyways, this soil that he calls chocolate, chocolate, um, when it gets water in it, it does not dry. Like it took, a, it we had rain for one day mm-hmm. and it took over a week for that patch of soil, of, of dirt to be fully dry. Like you would go outside and you would sink in this. Like it was ridiculous. It, it feels kind of like um, a cross between clay and sand. Yes. So it it's very slick. Even now, um, like while it's dry, walking in it, yeah, you can slip. Yeah. And this is dry. It, like, completely, completely dry, dry. now. Dry. Yeah, because we live in Texas, so. So. Um. So yeah, it, it was. It, it's a very different type of soil, and it's mm-hmm. like, boy, we need to, we need to put some grass on top of yeah. that because it is ridiculous. Like it, we're going to be entering September soon, and September October, it's pretty. Um, here in Texas, it's pretty well known that it's usually those months you have a lot of rain. Yeah. So if we have a lot of rain, I do not know the kind of chaos. I can't even imagine the kind of chaos that's going to happen with the backyard, mm-hmm. because it's not just you know the stuff that can get inside of the house but also going outside to take the dog out like she's poor chatty she's a chihuahua a chihuahua minpin so she would walk on it and she would just sink the poor little puppy and then trying to clean her paws was like a hassle because it just it's it's such thin just cakes in between her toes and her nails yeah oh yeah the nails it was the toughest part to clean yeah so Mm. i'm like james we have to take care of that and that's something that you don't have to worry when you're living in an apartment yep um but you know i wouldn't exchange our house for another apartment like i really like our house i like the freedom that we have we have a garage now Mm -hmm. oh that's one of the best things about (laughs) having a house you guys cannot like oh living in an apartment and most apartments here in in texas it's like first come first served when you're yep. when you're gonna park your car. So if there's a, a a space available, you'll take it. It's not like oh this apartment ha- this apartment number has this spot in the in the I forgot the parking yeah. lot. So you have an assigned parking spot. Yeah, exactly. But it doesn't. It's not really common here in Texas. It's like first come first served. So if we were to see a, a movie premiere at eleven or twelve um, a.m. right. If we went to go see a movie and we come back, there's no more spots. And it's like, it's ridiculous. Or if we wanted to go out for dinner for, you know, a nice date, romantic date or something. Yep. We come back, there's no more spots. We'd have to park on the other side of the apartment complex, walk across the grounds at night, which, I mean, wasn't that bad, but it's yeah. still kind of annoying when it's 100 plus at night. And yeah. We're... <laughs> You have to hike back to our apartment because there's no parking spots. Exactly. Or like when you're moving or when you mm-hmm. go grocery shopping, and it's like, oh, I have to carry all of my grocery groceries from the, all the way across the parking lot, then all the way up to your your apartment. Because we also used to live in a third floor yep. apartment. So it's like, it's the... It, it was protection from zombies. Fortunately, we never yes. had a zombie apocalypse. But if we had, we were yes. ready. Exactly. James wanted the third floor. I did not. And I think when we moved out, we like we're like we're done with yeah, third floors. Never we're so, again. never again. Oh, it's such a hassle to move furniture. That was that was an awful time. It moving. was. It was raining and still almost a hundred degrees. Yeah, it was so, so hot. Like you couldn't. You you'd eat. You'd heat up, but the sweat wouldn't go anywhere. And <laughs> I have a picture. Maybe I'll include it in this. Okay, you can. Um, a picture of me where I'm like, this is not rain. This is this is actually me sweating. Yeah, <laughs> I look like I'd been caught in a pool. Yeah, no, it it, it was awful. I, ugh, never again. Yeah, <laughs> high five. Never again. 
Um, but yeah, so having a house with a garage is amazing. Like you can just open the door to your garage, get in the car, open mm -hmm. the doors to the, like the garage doors and leave. Yep. There's always going to be a spot for you unless, you know, your neighbors are mean and awful and they park in front of your garage, which thankfully we have good neighbors. Yeah, our neighbors are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. We've met them. They're pretty cool. So, um, it's amazing. I can I, ugh, it's one of the best things about purchasing a house. Like I don't have to worry about not having where to park. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, owning a house is awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited mm. about our house. Wouldn't trade it. Wouldn't trade it. Nope. Yeah. Our, our neighbors are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, there have been some issues with the house in particular, you know, the yard. Oh, we, we had ant problems. <laughs> Lots of ants everywhere. The uncles were fine, but the ants were ridiculous. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James, my husband, <laughs> right there for you. The, an <laughs> the ants weren't too bad, though. I mean, that was two days of annoyance. Oh, it was a whole week, though, until week? we got the, the, the exterminator. The exterminator. Yeah. So, story about that. Um, when we first moved into the house, we weren't sure where we wanted Chatties to be sleeping because we don't want her to get used to sleeping in our bedroom. Mm -hmm. So, she has her own little crate in her bed with her toys and her blankie. She's a pretty, pretty princess, okay? So, she has her blankies and her bed and everything. And um, we didn't know where exactly where to put her, so we decided to go for the first floor where our master bedroom is. Um, so we put her there, and next morning, I just see a bunch of ants all around her crate, surrounding her. And I'm like, these ants are trying to eat my, de my precious little baby, my chatis, my delicate little flower. So I just, like, no. That, that really... Um, that was very scary for me because mm -hmm. there were ants everywhere. And we're, not, we're not talking like 20 or 30. We're talking a couple hundred. A couple of hundred ants surrounding Chatis's bed. Mm -hmm. And Chatis was there licking them, you know, eating, eating them up because, you know, they're trying to get on top of her. So she's defending herself and, you know, eating the ants. And I'm oh, like, geez. my poor little baby. How like she must have gone through that the entire night because yeah. we didn't realize that before we put her you know when we put her in her crate it was fine there were no ants we went to bed neck woke up next morning lots of ants yep and i'm like never again so i'm like no we're not leaving her anymore here we moved everything upstairs where there were no ants whatsoever um she's been sleeping fine there are no there have been no ants we called the exterminator and hopefully we, and thankfully, sorry, we haven't seen any more ants, but that nope. was very scary. Yeah. Like, it was like sharks surrounding my poor little baby. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to call it. I hope you guys liked our very first podcast. If you guys have any things, any topics, any topics you'd like to hear that you would like for us to talk about, let us know in the comment section down below. Um, we love you guys. And thank you to James for being yeah. here with me. Of course. He's going to be Chessies. here with me every week. So love him and support him just as I do. His ch his links are in the description down below as well. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you were gonna say something like oh. for like yeah another speech or nope. anything. Okay. Well, I guess. Oh, thanks, that's guys. It. <laughs> Thank you so much for for listening in for tuning in. Tune in next week where we will talk probably about chaotic apartments or yeah. i don't know or maybe we'll talk about youtube or twitch or something of the sort i'm not sure I, yet. i do know what i have planned for october so be ready for this halloween things scary things ghost stories no all month no all month no because then i'm gonna freak out all i'm gonna freak month. out i'm t no all month no no don't listen to him he's cray cray he cray cray <laughs> all right i love you guys all right we'll see you next week take bye. care guys bye <laughs>